Yes, Katie is wearing a bathing suit. But I have shorts. No, she's not crazy. She's just crazy. Ah! Okay, so this whole video is about uh, Katie doing the interview with Channel 6 and uh, Jessica Ralston, who was awesome. I like how foggy it is her last name, but it's hard to pronounce it sometimes. She was so pretty, wasn't yeah, she? Like, she crazy was. pretty. And um, put your arms down so we can see your face, kiddo. Yeah, they did. They matched really, really well. You guys looked, uh, I mean, you know, if you were you know, older and uh, curly hair, let your curly hair come out. Just saying. Okay, so watch our video of Katie getting interviewed with uh, Channel 6, Good Day Columbus, Slice of yes. Life. And at the end, we're going to do some commentary. So if you haven't seen it already, make sure that you watch it on, on YouTube? Kate on YouTube, Twitter. Instagram? Yeah. Facebook. Facebook. We love our Facebook. All right, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy this video on Katie's Wacky. Woo! Just go viral. Maybe make some money or get 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, but as uh, Jessica Ralston shows us tonight, a mom and a daughter here in Central Ohio are using the power of YouTube to channel a message of inspiration. I like the blue. It's got a Y. A morning at the library, some mother-daughter time. Seems pretty standard, but these two have their own story to tell. One that started 10 years ago, the day Katie was born. She had a stroke at birth. I, uh, she came two months early, and they said she has cerebral palsy. She may never walk, talk, know who you are. An incredibly scary time for this single mom filled with so much love for her baby girl and a lot of worry. I have Crohn's disease, and I thought, how am I going to do this? I, you know, I have this kid, and I'm sick, and she's sick, and she needs all this help. But together, as a team, they learned. You know, you make each day a little bit better than the last. So we work to make her do better and do more. You know, you have bad days that discourage you, but then you do better the next day. Year by year, Liz and Katie pushed forward, persevered, and defied the odds. Nobody in my class has that. Nobody in my school. Nobody. So I just, I have to work extremely hard, and I just try to go through it as best as I can. Now in fourth grade and thriving, Katie and Liz have taken their journey to YouTube. Oh, Here that's my first one, oh, okay. and this is my second one. Sharing her self-proclaimed wacky world. <laughs> oh, God, to Katie! Wacky! So far, they've connected with hundreds of kids from all over the globe. They like it. Some just like Katie, facing the challenges of cerebral palsy. It's just really awesome because she felt like, now I'm not alone. I have all these people. The content, what you might expect from a 10-year-old girl. Make slime. Oh, slime. Why do kids love slime so much? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Some of her videos are downright silly. <laughs> Others are serious. Understand what I've been through. Following Katie on her many trips for treatment at Nationwide Children's Hospital. And it's like this long of a needle. Like this long. But even in the hard times, mom and daughter are channeling a message of hope. I want people to not give up and also so people will know there's not, they're not the only one who is having trouble. And when we look back on what we've gone through, we realize there's really nothing that we still can't go through that we won't overcome. Both looking forward because this chapter is only just beginning. She's a good kid. We, I, uh, we're a good team. And if you would like to follow the journey of Liz and Katie, just go to YouTube and search for Katie's Wacky World. I'm Jessica Ralston, and that's A Slice of Life. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that clip of Katie um, from her interview. Um, one of the things that we work really, really, really hard on is to let people know that what they do matters. How many people does it take to change the world? One, and that can be you or anybody else. You know, when, when she was born, we didn't know what the outcome was going to be, but God knew. Because I was this tiny. And God, God knew that you were going to be able to do all these things, but I didn't know. I mean, I was freaking out. She thinks she was breaking. I did. She looks so cute and breakable. And I'm not good at not breaking things. Um, 
Just ask my last plan. three phones. <laughs> she kills the plan. I do. But, you know, here's the thing, too, guys. Um, you know, your life matters. You know, God can take anything, any bad situation, no matter. And, you know, we don't do it alone. We've had lots of people help along the way. We've had, uh, you know, a couple years ago for Christmas, uh, health services in Shockton, they brought us uh, Christmas gifts and a washer and dryer. And a lot they, of presents. They, but they, see, the washer and dryer was, well, that was plenty. We didn't ask for any of it. And it was hard enough to receive that. But they got us presents, like, pictures of us in frames. I mean, they really made things personable. Oh, they and got a they lot. got me, like, Princess's magnet. They did. Mm-hmm. We still have them hanging up in a room. And, uh, I sometimes use them. And, you know, here's the thing. And they went to the local businesses who all contributed. And so when we do these videos, we really want to reflect our community and the good people that are in it. And uh, the people that have helped make us be the people that we are. Um, her teacher, Mrs. Boston, Mrs. has Boston. been with her from the very beginning yeah. and she has uh you know really helped her development immensely she roots for katie she tells katie when to stop drifting helps. off into the dreamland and i had never done that but also katie. well she told me to stop talking in class sometimes because me and my friends talk to each other oh but blame the friends and um she help, and she's the one who helped me with being in my fourth grade level reading. Yes, and, and, and that's where she's at now. She's reading at a fourth grade level, and she's in fourth grade. So she's doing things that we are just amazed by. And we just want to take our lives, my life, her life, and show that's you that important. we are, you know, I'm the single mom who shouldn't be succeeding, and she's the kid who has cerebral palsy who shouldn't be succeeding. But that has never stopped us before, and we're going to continue to do our best and, and put our... Never forget that God's with you. Yes, God absolutely is with you. And, but we put our best foot forward, and we make each day a little bit better. We yeah. want to make sure that you guys know that, and we want to make sure that every time you go out there, we always pray in the morning, and we say, God, bring the right people into our lives and keep out the ones that aren't to be there and give us opportunity to administer your love, your peace, and your joy to other people because we want our lives to inspire, don't we? Yes. Sorry, guys, I keep on yawning. And- because I'm tired. It's <laughs> a good reason to yawn. Yeah. So, you know, and and Katie is a good example of that because she just never gives up. And that's what I want you guys to I have in your I heart. Want to give up. Everybody wants to give up sometimes. <laughs> but what do I always say when you start to fail or when you mess up? Um, practice makes perfect sometimes. Well, I say do better. Yes. I say you can do it. Just do better. Um, do better each time a little bit. And before you know it, you've done a lot better. Like an inch, an inch, and an inch. And when you're doing art, I always say, hey, everybody sees things she's differently. An, she's an artiste, and I'm an artist of time. She used to always want to be like me when she was little. I do. I really do. I want to be an art. She's to our teachers. I want to be an artist like my mom. I really do, actually. Yeah. And, you know, we've had teachers like Mrs. Kayser and the she entire teaches. school district that have just been incredibly supportive of us. So, Shout out to you, Mrs. Kayser. Yes, and we don't forget those. I mean, no matter what happens in life, we are very appreciative of all the people that have stepped in. Uh, with health services in Coshocton, that would be uh, Tana, who really stepped up for us, and Melissa at the time, Tana. too. Tana Fisher and Melissa. Oh. Um, you know, so they, they really stepped into our lives, and they've really helped us and been supportive of us in their own ways throughout the years. And, you know, we are thankful for our friends, for our family, for our people. And uh, if we yeah, could tell you think. anything at all, we would just tell you uh, never quit and never trying. Give up. Never, never give up. And know that even when you have the worst day of your life, tomorrow's going to be better because you've already had your worst day. So what could be worse, right? See, sometimes I want to give up. Everybody you know. knows. Well, there were times when she was a baby that I was so overwhelmed that I, I felt sick. I just felt like a deer in headlights. And sometimes the only thing I could do that morning was take a shower. But then the next day I would take a shower and clean the living room. And, then, and so you just build on it from where you're oh, at. Oh, if you see that picture behind that, that was my sister. Yeah, see your school picture here? Okay, real quick before we say goodbye. Uh, happy birthday, Diego. We were good. we said it on the other one, but I think we're changing it. So, hey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Diego. Happy birthday to you. Shout out to Vienna, Anna, and Travis also. Thanks for watching Katie's Wacky World. Make sure that you smash. That like button, subscribe button, Subscribe, like, and share it with your people. Share it with your people.
the more people we can reach, the more people we can inspire, yeah. inspire, and the more people can change the world for the better. Yeah, with your people. <laughs> Thank you for watching Katie's Wacky. Woo!